Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's look, I want to do quite a soft makeup look, I think. I'm kind of trying to use up some of my makeup, so I've picked quite an old palette to play around with today. So it's the ABH Modern Renaissance palette, and I just thought I'd do quite a soft look with it using some of these colours, and yeah. So if you're interested, then please keep on watching. First of all, going my Milk Hydro Grip Primer. Then, no surprise, going in my Hint Beauty Concealer and just using this as concealer. I'm not going to do foundation today. So I kind of focus this obviously under my eyes and on blemishes and kind of around the centre of my face as I do get stuff from a bit of redness around there. Then I go ahead and set everything in place with the Hourglass Veil Translucent Powder. So this was the other part that was recommended to me from a friend and it's, like I said, they claim to do very similar things to the Hunsun Pure Bamboo one. Obviously I'm very well this one isn't clean. Like I said, I will do a video comparing the two powders. Okay, so I'm going to go in with the Lily Lolo Sculpt and Glow Contour Kit using the sculpting side and just use it as my bronzer. Give a nice warmth to the skin. And then I really should be actually picking up one of the other ones to go with the illuminator, but I'm just as it's here, I'm going to take this champagne illuminator from this palette and use it to give my skin a nice glow. For blusher, I'm gonna go in with, I think, this shade down here from my Nip and Fab blush palette and give a nice flush to the cheeks. Okay, perfect. So that's the skin portion done. So moving on to the eyes, I'm just going to quickly go ahead and fill in my brows and pop some eye primer on. So I'm using obviously Lily Lolo for both those things. And then I'll be back to do my eye shadow. Okay, so moving on to the eye portion. Like I said, I want to try and use up some of my old palettes. That's why I picked the ABH Modern Renaissance. So I think first of all, I'm going to go into the shade Raw Sienna just here on my Hansen Pure E40 brush. It's a nice blending brush. And I'm going to pop this through the crease and onto the lid as well. Can I give my whole eye a wash of this colour? I'm going to take a bit of tempera on that same brush and just kind of use it to go over these edges and give it like a sort of brow highlight as well. I'm going to take a little bit of red ochre, this one down here, on my Real Techniques eyeshadow base brush. And just take a little bit through onto this outer portion and up into the crease ever so slightly. A little bit of Cypress Umber, which is the really kind of dark brown. Just put a very small amount of that around this outer portion. Grab my E40 brush, when it's pure, and just make sure everything is nice and blended together. Then on my E20 brush, a shading brush from um, Hunset Pure, I am just going to take some of Vermeer, this shade right here, and just do a light wash of this across this inner portion of the lid and kind of into the tear duct area. I'm going to bring it a little bit above the crease. Just going to add some real light to that area. Just go ahead one more time with my E40 just to make sure everything is 
nice and blended tidy up a little bit if I need to literally all I want to do in terms of eyeshadow like I said I want to do quite a soft look and just add some kind of some definition to the eyes so I'm just going to go in my Lily Lolo Big Lash Mascara and I'm just going to give my upper lashes only a good couple of coats Okay, so that is the eye portion done. Like I said, I want to do something soft, quite pretty and easy to do. And it just kind of... And this kind of style of eyeshadow suits any eye shape, um, really. So it's quite a nice one to do. Um, so yeah, so on to lips. First of all, I'm going to take the Benacost Lip Liner in Brown. I'm going to line my lips and also fill them in with this colour. And then I'm going to give this lipstick another go and see what I think. This is one I got in a competition and I just found it quite dry on the lips. I quite like the colour of it though. So I just want to see if maybe it's warmed up a little bit more now I've had it and it's been in a warm room. So this is the um, Zeo um, lipstick in 433. So it's quite a nude lipstick. It's matte but I just found it quite like dry and you have to really drag it on the lips to get colour out but let's just give it another go yeah this is such dry yeah that's such dry lipstick I just don't think I like that one actually um, unfortunately I am just going to add a little bit of gloss, so obviously the Whisper Lip Gloss from Lily Lolo. I do need to start using some of my other ones, because I do have other ones from Lily Lolo that I need to start using. Okay, and that is this makeup look complete. So like I said, something soft, quite pretty, easy to do, and just perfect for like... An everyday look but it's something a bit extra as well so um yeah i really hope you enjoy this video thank you so much for watching leave any requests for future videos down below any products you're loving at the moment leave down below any questions you have and yeah hopefully i'll see you on my next video thanks for watching